Hello and welcome. My name is David and this is the channel where I do tech stuff. And it's time for another Tech Bytes. Now, sorry for the lack of Tech Bytes in this last week, but there just hasn't been much news going around. I think everybody's saving all of the news for Computex next week. Okay, so let's get to the news story in three, two, one. So there have been rumors around TSMC, which is a big global foundry that produces like CPUs for cell phones and things like that, that they're potentially producing a seven nanometer chip for the up and coming iPhone, which is gonna be released at some point in the near future, potentially maybe. Now, the reason I bring up this story is because their cell phone manufacturers are moving to seven nanometer chips already, while on the desktop front, we're still sitting at like 12 nanometers and we might be moving to 10 nanometers soon. So so why are we so far behind? Okay, I get we're behind because, well, cell phones have way higher yield and people buy more of them than, than gaming desktop CPUs, so obviously that's why. Now with the seven nanometer chips, it means that they're gonna have higher efficiency and they're gonna have more performance. So yes, the new iPhone is gonna be more powerful and yeah, it's gonna probably be exactly the same it was this year, but Hopefully we're gonna get seven nanometer chips with the new Ryzen CPUs next year. So hopefully we're not that far off. Anyway, that's it for this story. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification if you don't wanna miss another one of these videos. And until the next one, bye bye.